And I missed you. I missed you so much, Vince, that I went and slept with somebody else. I mean, really? What sort of lame excuse is that? Chapter 2. May the 29th, 1998. We're still at the motel. Yeah, see? No bullets. I knew that. I never killed a person before today. And I don't want to do it again. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. You can shut up, Jim. You can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I was terrified. I was scared. I wasn't thinking. I know. I just... I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I don't want to lose anyone. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> oh, <wow. Sis. laughs> Guys, we're not going anywhere. No, you're not going anywhere. Fuck. Yep. Police have arrived. Dante. He'll get us out of here. <sighs> you got more faith in him than I do. He wants his money back. He mad. Don't say look mad. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's booking to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay. Check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Call them for Big Sam, please acknowledge. Sam's Take him dead. in the back there and destroy that radio. See you later, Sam. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. <laughs> you know him well? What's his deal? Tell me about Dante. It's like a crooked cop to me. What does that mean? He's gonna help us, right? He's sheriff of the smallest county in Arizona. But acts like he's the king of the Southwest. He can be a hell of a headache. But hopefully the headache we need. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. And no way out. Tyler. I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. For what? Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! <laughs> Next person who talks is going in the back office. What does that mean? I'm going to do some paperwork. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Let's defy him. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. Shut up, Michelle. Quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, 
Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Well, now you separate from your daughter. That's a bit stupid. Keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Well, I've been all right if you hadn't have, like, yes, no defied good. him. That's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. How are you going to use the scissors? scissors? Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? You'll hear it. That's it. It's going to fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll call what? Sing? On three. La 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 la. la. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Shut up, Jim. Can you reach the scissors? <sighs> oh, look at that. They managed it. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... my family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's dead. He's, they sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? I called him Big Sam. If he tells them that he's dead, they're going to know well, someone's talking. Tell me about what's going on in there? Uh, my dad is sick. Look, uh, my dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? What else? You're good. Keep going. Daughter's scared. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but God, the things she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. Is that always gonna we'll say? Get there, okay? We'll get her out of there, okay? We'll get her out yeah. of there, okay? Okay. Uh oh. Hey! They've blocked the door. Shit, Vince. This door won't hold. Their last name is Holt has just appeared. God damn it. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. Holt told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. I wanted to go for the Holt option. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're going to put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. Yes. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. You're not wrong, but if you hadn't have run us off the road, we could have just kept on going. Same, Tyler. Da, da, da. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Ooh, pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. 
all because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Oh, there's no way I'd sign that. I didn't do it. Shove your money. You could stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass. Good for you. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? Well done there. Well done. <sighs> Shit. Oh, where are we now, Vince? Two days before. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. She doesn't seem that bothered there. Step and tons of stress, but... I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna do those dishes, time. mate. Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... Bye. I can't believe I fell asleep. Typical. All right, big man. You Better crack on with it, Vince. Farm in ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Dude, where to start? If you guys plays this, let me know in the comments if you've played this game. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, please, and sub to the channel if you haven't yet. Plenty more videos that will be posted in very, very, very short time. That was quick. We've got to fix the AC. Better, it's leaking. Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool there we go, we did it. Thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. We've got 20 yeah, minutes, we're Vince. We're Do the washing up. What's next? Washing up, mate. She'll notice the dishes. Trust me, she'll notice those dishes. Dishes done. <clears throat> ten minutes. He did that in ten minutes. Come and do my dishes, bud. You can do all, all that right. in ten minutes. Got a home stretch now. What's left? Check weather. Put the dishes away. Oh, make dessert. Oh, okay. What dessert is he making you in ten what? minutes? Chocolate pudding. Pudding the day we moved in. So why not go out in style? Got to test it. It's nope. important. Look at his Be face. Strong, Step away from the chocolate. Step away from that chocolate. <sighs> to wash that up again now, bub. Daddy. Hi, pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mina gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today. 
So, I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. Not a fan By of shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. We did, aren't we awesome? No, let's make a joke. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Yeah. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positive. Yeah, that's right, Vince. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made chocolate dessert in less than ten chocolate minutes. Chocolate pudding. Ta da! Mmm. <laughs> good call. <laughs> God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? What you're supposed Hello. to be putting your pajamas on. Your on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? We should face our fears. When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Love you all the way to the moon. I want mommy. Oh, charming. <laughs> Not even I love you back. Come on there, Zoe. Ugh, Left your dad hanging. Company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Message. <gasps> We're gonna read the message. Gonna miss your sweet little smile, cupcake. One last drink. <gasps> Who's Bruce? Who's Bruce? Uh oh. Yeah. Who's Bruce? I need to get the hell out of here. What, leave your child? Oh, oh big Sam there. Search the desk. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. Really? I'm gonna pick the lock? Place like this gotta have a generator. There's one outside, but it doesn't work. Not getting out that way. So I suppose I could try the manual. There's only a door, mate. Go do it. Oh, try door. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna pick the lock. I can't believe that actually worked. Neither can I. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. 
Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Better go up the stairs. I bet the stairs will Should be run? creaky. Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Do they not hear him? Where is she? Don't speak. Don't make a sound. What's going on in there? We have to stay real quiet. There. That one came from the hall. Why are we hiding? Because I don't know what else to do. Which hey, one's it's Jay? Me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy. Oh, he's a good is the good kid. I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. Let's hold her. Give her a cuddle. I am too, Pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Let it all out. Think they're gonna try to come in? Wait, you're on the baddest side, Jay. Warn him? I don't know. They're probably just checking things out. They're not gonna try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before before the lights come back on. Okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Uh oh. Could you not use that window? Does that window not open? If they can't see this happening, it must be incredibly dark. Guys, all right. Oh, you found her. Thank Shut God. up, talking. Let's get out of there. I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Will they make it? Are you hurt? No. Are you? Quick, get out of there. Dude with a gun. Oh, it's the okay, police! Go. Everybody down! It's the police! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Perps. Where are the perps? What happened with the dog? It's all Zeus. Run for the door. What sort of what what is sort of is that? These are hostages. Come on, it's now or never. You crazy? You're gonna get shot. Go run. Gotta stay hidden, man. That's crazy. Run across the room. It's too dangerous. Yeah, there's a gunshot shootout going on. What the hell are you doing? He's gonna get shot. Grandpa! Boom. Grandpa gonna die. There you go. Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! 
Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Damn. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa hurt? I don't know, honey. <laughs> yes. My oh, has got a huge headache. Jim, are you okay? Dad! He needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe Shut just up, a concussion. Paul. You're not a doctor. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. He's still with us, Grandpa. Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? There where you are. Jim, do you know where we are right now? Arizona. Sam Bluff Motel. No, it's Close. called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought oh, it. I used to be here. I'll, I'll be all right. I, I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Yeah, because Paul thought he recognized him. Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. And lucky you got me around to bail you out. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. But first, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. <laughs> Bet you delight. I need, I need to make sure that my minutes. pizza order is coming from the right place. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. It better not be Paul. Two days earlier, Sacramento, California. I'm gonna ask about Bruce. Who's Bruce? Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Divorce. Yeah, go for that. I hear divorce is stressful. <laughs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, oh. how about we make it one to remember? Michelle's getting a little romantic. Especially this text message. 
Uh, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake? What yeah. Yeah. Vince, you've been reading my messages? Just the one. I thought it was the removals. Yeah, I thought it was the movers. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. Oh, steady on there, Michelle. Bruce is calling you now. Who's Bruce? Some things are private. So who's Bruce? It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. No, we'll let her finish. Be rude to interrupt. Good luck to you too. Bye. Someone from the university. Bruce? The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce? Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Well, it's not time to ask why. We want her to get to sleep, so we'll just go with the always. Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. <laughs> So, uh... Yeah, who's this Bruce, Bruce dude? Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Why is he calling you Cupcake? Very insistent. Oh, look, there's another one. You like him? Is he... You know, do you like him? He's clever. We got on well professionally. Academia is competitive. It's rare to make friends. Clever, professional. Looks like Patrick Swayze. I know the type. Don't put baby in the corner. No, what did he say? Nobody puts baby in the corner. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Yeah, let's drink the wine. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. <gasps> and perfume. Look at me. <clears throat> Vince. I know things have been hard. Are you playing away from this home, Michelle? This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? Oh, crossroads. Choose carefully. You gonna believe her? No. There's more to this. Michelle. Every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping. <gasps> now you're being ridiculous. That's not quite what I was expecting. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No. Of course not. So what's the problem? Yeah, tell him. What's the matter? It was a mistake. <gasps> she did! Hussie! I'm sorry. She did! Aye, oh, so you did it and then you lied about it. God damn it, Michelle. God. You were right there, Vince. Right. We were right to push. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. It just happened. What, like overcooking the dinner? Nothing just happens. It just happened. 
You made a choice, yes. Michelle. You chose to do this. Yes. You don't need to raise your voice at me. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. Michelle, 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 was... Michelle. There is no excuse. Infidelity. Adulterous. He was there. So? <gasps> How many times? In our bed. Do you love him? All of those questions. Do you love him? Of course not. I love you. But every time I try to get close, you push me away. It's no excuse. Don't blame him, love. Sex. That's honestly all it was. But get yourself a vibrator. Just say him. What about our family? Let's go for this emotional moment. Go for it. Make her feel guilty. Even more guilty. Do it. What about Zoe? Did you even think what this could do to her? Yeah. I didn't want to hurt anyone. But then you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Michelle. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. It's no excuse. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? Don't blame him, love. When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk. But the wall just gets higher and higher. Brick by brick. And I missed you. you okay? I missed you so much, Vince, that I went and slept with somebody else. I mean, really? What sort of lame excuse is that? Don't blame me. I'm not saying sorry to you, woman. How dare you turn this back on me? Yeah, you tell her, Vince. I'm just trying to make you understand. Look, I know you're hurt and angry, but I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one-night stand. That's not how it works. I don't want that. That's not the point. I don't want to sleep with anyone else. I want you. Vince. I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless. But it happened, alright? If I could take it back, I would. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? We have to decide here. Kiss- I'm not kissing her! God knows where that mouth has been. <gasps> could break a glass. Could break a glass. What can we do? Throw the radio. We can leave. We're on leave. We're moving tomorrow though. We're moving. I think we need to talk this out. I think we need to sit and talk. Got to talk it out. Oh, or we're God, leaving her here. Michelle. What a fucking mess. I don't even know what else to say. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. It's going to take time. I don't know if I could ever trust you. <gasps> Crossroad again. Oh, the pressure. Forgive her or don't forgive. Well, right there and then. That's an impossible question to answer. Totally impossible. Good grief. Don't forget, guys, if you're watching, smash that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you've yet to do so. I'm going to be here a while. I don't know. Do I forgive or don't forgive? I don't think I can. Not at this moment in time. It's too soon, Michelle. It's too soon. It's too soon. I don't forgive you, Michelle. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I can't pretend this didn't happen. Quite. Maybe Bruce could. Not me. Yeah. Vince. And he's still texting you. When one life drink, saying. cupcake. Think about Zoe. There has to be a way. I don't think there is. What about Missouri? You can stay know. here, woman. I guess we'll work something out once we're there. <sighs> I need to lie down. Why would you move across the country with her and then work it out when you're there? Maybe she'd be better off staying here. She's got a job and all that. Just saying. <gasps> Vince? Unforgivable. I'm worried about your dad. Oh, shut up, Paul. Head injuries. 
bad enough on their own, but if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... Pause now, Doctor. How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, Jim's gonna ready. die anyway, so just send Zoe well, out. Come on, yeah. old man. You going for a walk? No, Zoe's going. Not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm. Uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. It's got to be Zoe then. Dad's gonna die anyway in a couple of years. Gotta send Zoe. Zoe's gotta go because you know Jim's an ass. Right, send Zoe. Jim. Gotta be yeah, Zoe. goodbye. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. But then she might end up orphaned. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. Hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. This kid's a good kid. His brother's a twats. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One more, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? Yes, hon. <laughs> Prepare her for the worst. No, we're not going to do that. That's not the time or the place. You would be a a completely irresponsible parent. The answer is no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? But, yeah, but that's not the right and thing to say either, I don't think. Mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. <laughs> anyway, I promise no one from our family is going to die. Can't promise that. You cannot promise that, Vince. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero, but I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. Best if we make this quick. Daddy loves you. Be brave. Be brave for me. She left us okay. hanging the last time we said love you. I be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Daddy, Excuse me. please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? <laughs> you want to have mummy? I'm not in danger. I'll always be with you. You know, all the best things about me, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, I'll always be with you. Oh God, now he's talking like he's about to die. Always. Hey, hurry it up. My piece is getting Come on, cold. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. What does that mean? Now pick him up and don't They've laced the pizzas stupid. with something and they're all gonna fall asleep. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Let's hope he's put hey, the pager on silent. It's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. <sighs> well.
Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pete's ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You did. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Oh, Big Sam. Vince. Is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. Zeus is hungry. He wants some pizza. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? What question is that? He's intimidating. He's scary. I don't know why, but I don't trust the guy. Not sure I blame you. Learned long ago the cops can be... Well, you put a gun in someone's hand pretty soon, they think they ought to use it. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. It better not be pineapple on that what pizza. Are you doing? I'd send it back. I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. That's not a quiet pager. Vince, can I count on you? What? Maybe. But what, man? Look, I need your help. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? They took from me a black book. Need you to find it. Um, nope. Don't think I do. Why would I do that? Because <sighs> you want to live. <gasps> really? Go search that stuff. Are you serious? No, you can't have it. What if I'm caught? I'm making friends with them. What do you mean we can't have any? <laughs> There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. Paul also has no. low balls. I said no. The answer is no. Oh, we gotta make friends. Uh, we have to make friends. Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? Reason, joke, charm. Let's charm him. I care about everyone. I'm super nice like that. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're creeping me out. That didn't work. Are you giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Oh, I see what you did there, Vince. Clever. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... My shit. Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. You're not, mate. You're this going to prison. I got my eye on it. It's not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea.
Fine interest. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. <laughs> She's none of your goddamn business or anybody you else's. Up, mate. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. Oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. Oh, Paul, you're so spineless. Let's feed Paul to Zeus. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, really? Uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. Ooh, interesting. What's he playing? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. You did a crap job of that, Tyler. Put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. I don't trust you. Pizza boy. You and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. Da, da, da. You have to hold me so tight. <laughs> Let's dance. Your neck so fat. Rude. Coming out. God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. You're delusional. They're never gonna let you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. It's gonna go crazy. Come We're gonna make him crazy Please if we're not careful. Back. Guess who? Dale fucking Holt. <laughs> so you were the ones in my house. Yep. Nice place you got there, asshole. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. It's got dodgy oh, looks, that's Sheriff. Dodgy look. Hmm. You know. You were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Oh. Oh. He got mad. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black oh. book. Oh, the book Where the boy it? put in his back pocket about? about birds. Don't play games with me. One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. But it wasn't I don't black. Know about it was that. a bo book about birds. Have it your way. <laughs> oh, dirty animal. That's just disgusting. <gasps> Sniper on the water tower. You're going to get brains all over your face in a minute. I'm not going to warn him. Oh, yeah, but he might shoot. Oh, I know. Oh, I don't know. We don't trust the sheriff. If we warn him, the sheriff, I don't know, is going to help us. But I don't think he's going to help us anyway. He wants the book. If we don't warn him, he's going to end up dead and we're going to have brains all over our face and then obviously we've got um our mum not our mum our dad and our wife in there and joyce and tyler's probably gonna go boom 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 so i'm gonna warn him because i just don't trust the sheriff sniper
Yeah, I got your back there, Dale. Don't you forget that, bruh. Going back inside. Go. Go. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower. Yeah. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's okay. I'm all right. Dodged a bullet. Vince, where's your pocket oh. vibrating? Or are you just happy to see me? Aye, aye. What does the sheriff say? What's happening? Oh, not a lot of the minute. Everyone is okay. Find that book or people will die. <laughs> you have 30 minutes. Oh my God, they're going to come storming in. What's in that book? I'm intrigued. What is in that book? Value sticks by their family, whatever it costs. You, oh, I like that value. Trait fierce, unafraid of confrontation and physical danger. Play style, fast reflexes. You better believe that. How did we do? Oh, we have so much on that top one. Look, there was more here we could have done. Ooh. Next chapter, please. This is where I'm ending today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit like while you're here, pop me a comment down below, and sub if you've yet to do so. Check out my other videos. There will be something there that you enjoy. Until next time, ciao for now.